here uh, this question 112 it is based on uh, organ pipes and the various modes of vibration it says that the fundamental frequency of a closed organ pipe of length 20 centimeter if you have a fundamental vibration of a closed pipe this is given to you 20 centimeter or you can say lambda by 4 here has been given to you 20 centimeter now it is saying that that frequency is equal to the second overtone of an organ pipe open at both ends if you have an open pipe open at both ends then you see this is the fundamental vibration then similar kind of thing is the first overtone and then second overtone means this much of wave you have to accommodate so straight way you can calculate this one fourth of the wavelength is equal to 20 centimeter and this kind of 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 lambda by 4 is there so in total this will be 120 centimeter this is simply you can say 20 centimeter multiplied by 6 I am doing that is making 120 centimeter and that will be the length of the open pipe so here if you have to choose the answer I will be marking option number 4 for question number 112 now let us switch over to question number 113 Now this question 113 is a very straightforward direct question based on formula. It says that an electron moving in a circular orbit of radius r makes n rotations per second. So this electron will be behaving like an equivalent current carrying loop. And you have to find out the magnetic field produced at the center of that loop. What is the standard expression for magnetic field at the center? This is mu naught i by 2 r simply. Now what is the current equivalent? if it is making n rotations per second that means n into e this much charge per second is rotating and that is equal to the current and divided by 2 r so this will be the standard expression of magnetic field mu naught any by 2 r and for that matter i will be marking option 1 as the correct answer for question number 113 now let us switch over to question 114 Now here in this uh, question 114, it is a combination of thin lenses and the equivalent uh, focal length formula you have to use. They are saying two identical thin plano convex glass lenses, each having radius of curvature. They are something like you can say one plano convex lens and another plano convex lens. They have been put like this and the intervening medium that has been put by some other material that is oil. So it is a combination of three lenses you have. Now if you want the focal length 1 by f, so first you should write down for this plano convex lens and there are two, two of them. Standard formula for this focal length is this uh, you can say mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So there are two of them, so I am writing two. Refractive index has been given 1.5 minus 1 that makes it 0.5 upon the radius of curvature. Radius of curvature has been given to you 20 centimeter, so this is 20 but mind you this is in centimeter. Now the intervening medium since it has been put by oil, so it is behaving like concave lens. Focal length uh, you can take in negative, this is uh, mu minus 1 that will make it 0 0.7, 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So you will have into 2 upon r is this 20. So if you will solve this expression, entire expression that will give you focal length as minus 50 centimeter and for that matter the most appropriate answer will be the fourth one for question number 114. Now let us switch over to question number 115. Here this uh, question 115, this is based on black body radiation spectrum and that too, VN's displacement law. Here you know that uh, if the temperature is to be observed, then it is related to the color. If the frequency is large then temperature is large or you can say lambda m into temperature is equal to constant that is Vn's displacement law. Here it says that uh, on observing light from three different stars P, Q and R it was found that intensity of violet color is maximum in the spectrum of P. So violet is for P here. The intensity of green color is maximum in the spectrum of R. Green is for R and the intensity of red color is maximum the spectrum of q red is for q so you know that uh, 
violet has maximum frequency so it will have maximum temperature green is next to that so temperature of r will be next to that red has minimum frequency so minimum temperature so tp must be largest then tr then tq you see that the option 3 is the most appropriate option for question number 115 now let us switch over to question number 116 Now this uh, question 116 it is based on uh, dimensional analysis rather you can say finding the unknown relation between known quantities here they want how surface tension is dependent on energy velocity and time let us suppose I think that surface tension is dependent like e raised to the power x v velocity raised to the power y and time raised to the power z so all you have to do you have to simply write down the dimensional formula now what is surface tension this is force upon length isn't it so you can write it as mt minus 2. Now, what is uh, energy? Energy is ml2 t minus 2 raised to the power x. What is velocity? This is lt minus 1 raised to the power y. And what is t? t is time simply t raised to the power z. Now, you will be balancing the power of m, balancing the power of l and then balancing the power of t. Then you will find that the value of x is coming out to be 1, value of y is coming out to be minus 2 and value of z is coming out to be minus 2 this is the way so you will back substitute into that and you will find the uh, expression as e raised power 1 v raised to the power minus 2 and t raised to the power minus 2 so most appropriate option for this question will be the fourth one and uh, let us uh, switch over to question number 117. Now this uh, question 117 which is based on second law of thermodynamics, it is a question which is combining your knowledge of heat engine as well as the refrigerator. It says that a Carnot engine having an efficiency of eta 1 by 10 as heat engine is used as refrigerator. So try to see how the heat engine symbolic diagram is there. Let us suppose you are using it as heat engine, then it is giving some work output, it is taking some heat input Q1 and some heat is being rejected this is what is heat engine this is at higher temperature side this is at lower temperature side now the work let us suppose if it is 10 joule then efficiency says that this will be 100 joule and for that matter 90 joule is getting rejected this is what is the engine is now if you are using it as a refrigerator then every process will be just reversed but the value will remain same this will be heat rejected to atmosphere not of our use this will be heat taken out from the ice box and that will be used in refrigeration so this will be the cooling part and this will become the work input so it says that if it is used as a refrigerator if the work done on the system is 10 joule now this arrow will be reversed but the value will be same as 10 joule the amount of energy absorbed from the reservoir at lower temperature this side is at lower temperature so this absorbed energy is simply 90 joule so for that matter fourth option will be the most appropriate option for this question 117 now let us switch over to question number 118. 